friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I'm going to be reviewing some new hair products. They're not exactly new to the market but they are new to my channel because I was kind of hesitant on even making a video about them. Which is the Marc Anthony Bye Bye Frizz Silicone Free Line. Now this is a big deal because a lot if not majority of the Marc Anthony products do have silicone and that's been the main reason why I haven't been able to use any of them or review them on my channel because there was always silicone even in the strictly curls line so I have used Mark Anthony as an example of don't just look for the word curls and assume that it's curly girl friendly or good for curly hair because I think that entire line has silicone but I actually remember going up to one of the reps at, I think it was Gen Beauty, and I asked them if they planned on creating any silicone free products, and she said, well, secretly it's in the making. So I knew it was coming, so I was very excited when these launched because that just shows that our voice matters. If we don't like something and we keep talking about it, brands eventually are gonna have to start paying attention to please their customers. It's quite simple. So the products that I have in this line are the Bye Bye Frizz Silicone Free Shampoo, the conditioner, they have a leave-in conditioner, they have a blow-dry cream, a hairspray, and a 8-in-1 serum. I think there's also like a treatment. I might be missing a couple of the items, but these are the ones that I have. I used all of them. Actually, I haven't used the hairspray. Let's just use it right now. Let's see if I get some, some extra height. Humidity shield blocks humidity to fight frizz. Extra hold. Mmm. That actually looks really good. I don't know why I haven't used it this whole time. The only other silicone free hairspray that I own is by Diva Curl, and that one doesn't really have a very strong hold. So, this one might be my new go to. Why did I use this sooner? Hairspray is approved. So in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate most of these products, including the Strictly Curls 3x Moisture Oil Cream and Butter Hydrate and Soften Deep Treatment Mask. It's supposed to moisturize, strengthen, and smooth your hair. I've used this at least two or three times, so I think that I like it. Now before I hop in the shower, I do want to let you guys know that all these products are sold at Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Ulta, and they range between eight and $10. So now I'm hop in the shower and show you exactly how the products work. Starting off with my shampoo. This is the Bye Bye Frizz Silicone Free Keratin Smoothing Shampoo. Now, as you can see, the consistency is kind of different. Kind of has a snot-like consistency but it has a pretty good smell. It's not like amazing or anything, but it smells kind of fruity or floral, if you will. And as some of you may know, I do like a shampoo that will suds up. It feels like I'm getting that clean, even though there isn't any sulfate in it. So this silicone-free formula is supposed to gently cleanse and create a softer, shinier, and smoother hair. It blends amino acids and silk protein to help smooth the cuticle layer to reduce frizz. The funny thing about this is on the back of the bottle, it says it doesn't have any damaging silicone buildup which is funny that they would like admit to silicone being damaging and causing buildup when the rest of their products still have it. I don't get it. But either way, I shampooed and I did actually do a good job of cleansing my scalp. Once I rinsed it out, it didn't feel very moisturized, but also didn't feel super squeaky clean. So it's kind of like a happy medium of just what you expect a shampoo to do. Moving on to the conditioner. This is the Bye Bye Frizz Silicone Free Keratin Smoothing Conditioner. It's supposed to smooth, detangle, and add shine, repel humidity, and prevent frizz. This one is a more creamier consistency. It's not too thick, but it has the same smell, but just a little bit stronger. But if you don't like scents, none of these smells actually linger on your hair. So when I apply my conditioner, I like to do it into two sections and I smooth it through, making sure I'm getting it into my hair follicles. And I usually like to finger detangle as my first test to see how well the slip is. And I must say that I'm pleasantly surprised that this does have really good slip. Spoiler alert, I am using a new brush by Be Hairful and I just wanted to see how this would do detangling and I was just so blown away. So as you can see, the slip is amazing. This brush is helping get rid of any tangles that I may have and making detangling super easy. So stay tuned for a full video review on this brush. 
Once my hair is completely detangled, it did feel very moisturized, but because this is my deep conditioning day, I just went ahead and rinsed it all out. After I rinsed it out, my hair still looked very shiny. Now let's talk about a different line. This is a very new product by Mark Anthony. By the way, this is not the singer Mark Anthony. This is another salon professional stylist Mark Anthony. Not the same guy. But my favorite thing about this little packet is the packaging. It's like in a little packet that makes it really easy to travel with because it's not a big, you know, plasticky bottle. But the best part is it has this little resealable nozzle so it squirts right out and then you could just close it back up a lot of the little packets that we get are just packets that you have to cut open and then you have to keep it in a ziploc bag and then it gets dry and it gets messy so it makes it kind of hard to use it again but this i mean this little nozzle is a game changer and i think every little packet sample size whatever we get needs a nozzle but after reading the back of this ten thousand times I triple quadruple check that there is no silicone in this product either. It always makes me nervous when a brand says free from sulfates, SLS, parabens, phthalates, but it doesn't state silicone free. So I'm like, mm, what you hiding? But there's not. And I really wish they would have put that on the front of the packaging. But this Strictly Curls line is new. I took a peek on the website and they actually have a whole complete line of Strictly Curls products. I would love to try their jelly, which is also silicone free. They have a coconut oil, which is silicone free because it's purely coconut oil. But the conditioner has two silicones in it. The leave-in has the silicone in it. So even the Strictly Curls line, I can't just go ahead and say get any of them because some of them in the line do have silicone. So when I apply this conditioner, it is a very thick cream. I like to apply it on my wet hair one section at a time, raking it through. And it's supposed to be a perfect blend of three deeply moisturizing ingredients that will leave your curls looking flawless. It has marula oil, which penetrates damaged areas to restore moisture. The coconut helps to strengthen the curls and provide nourishing nutrients. And it has shea butter to coat and protect the cuticle to smooth and soften. Now, if you don't have a conditioner, you could use this as your conditioner and then just leave it in for 20 minutes. Or you could do what I did and use a shampoo and a conditioner and deep conditioner if you want that extra moisture. This claims to work after three to seven minutes, but I always leave on my mask for 20 minutes under a thermal hair care heat cap, which is a microwavable heat cap that traps in the heat, which opens up my hair cuticles and lets the product to truly penetrate into my hair. And as always, I suggest a deep condition once a week. Once I rinsed out my deep conditioner, then it was time to look at the stylers. Once again, this is not a curly hair line. And surprisingly, it's actually like for blow drying. And even the model on the website has straight hair. So this line technically isn't really for us curly people, which uh, I don't know. I think it would have been a lot smarter to create a silicone free line for curly hair instead of finally making a silicone free line for straight hair. But I appreciate the effort. Let me show you how I applied these. All right, now I'm done deep conditioning. My hair feels very soft, very moisturized. Definition is nice. I personally don't really use a leave-in conditioner. I think my hair is pretty moisturized, especially straight after deep conditioning, because my hair just isn't really that dry. But if you are someone with very dry hair, definitely start with a leave-in conditioner. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna try it just for you guys. So I'm gonna split my hair in two, two sections. Still pretty wet. So as you can see, if you spray a lot of it, it, it is kind of like a cream. So it's not very watery. It smells really good though. Now remember, a leave-in is technically not a styling cream. It's just for moisture, but this one is claiming to tame frizz. The only thing about spray bottles is kind of hard to get the other side <laughs> and your hands are now slippery. I think I just prefer it in a bottle. Yeah, see, I cannot hold this now because my hands are slippery. Oh, 
All right, leave-in is in. Now it's going to help retain that moisture in our hair. And now the only other cream that they give us in this line, which is the Keratin Smoothing Blow Dry Cream. Well, I'm definitely not gonna be blow drying my hair straight. I guess I will be using a diffuser. So it says it's supposed to create sleek and smooth frizz-free hair. Create a smooth, polished blowout without any damaging silicone buildup. Smooths flyaways, locks in moisture, and blocks humidity for ultimate frizz control. This could be used for people with straight hair that want to add some moisture before blow drying their hair straight. As you guys know, if you guys follow my channel, I don't think that you guys should be straightening your curls because that's how you can get damaged, and I don't want you to have to go through all that struggle to get your curls back, but that's kind of what this is for. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna try it as a styler and see how well it does at controlling my frizz. But I have very low expectations. Splitting my hair once again, layering it on top of the leave-in conditioner. Always add your leave-in first. Kind of smells like the rest of the line. Very smooth, creamy consistency. So let's just smooth it on. Because it is so creamy, I mean, this just might work. Probably could use even less than I applied, so I'm gonna use a little bit less. Just that, a little goes a long way. Now because I have very fine hair, I feel like this is gonna be a lot of moisture, especially from deep conditioning to adding a leave-in to adding a cream. I'm someone that really prefers a type of cast, like from gel or mousse, so I'm kinda nervous to see how this is gonna work out. They look pretty right now. I feel like it's gonna take 10 years to dry because it's so moisturized right now. But hopefully, I have pretty results. And I'm back. My hair is now, it's not even dry. It's been hours and it's still wet at the roots. That's because we added so much moisture between the deep conditioner, the leave-in, and the cream. But overall, um, I mean, my curls look kind of pretty, but they're just so weighed down and there is like frizz. So it might look good to some of you guys, but I know that one, this is not really a good hair day for me and it's not going to last the rest of the week. I need some hold or this will be frizzy in the morning, even if I pineapple. So just like I thought, I did not like these products because they're not stylers. They're not claiming to have any hold. I don't really use leave-in conditioners. If you do, you might like it. It is silicone free. But like a blow-dry cream, I shouldn't be using this unless I'm blow-drying my hair, which I'm not. But fortunately today, I was able to save my curls by using an actual gel. I used my Curl Keeper gel today. I think it looks great. It's very shiny and moisturized from, I believe, my deep conditioning yesterday. But styling wise, like these just aren't gonna do it. And I'm not someone to really use oils, but if you are, you could try the serum. So overall, what would I recommend from this Marc Anthony line? So far, I am really liking the hairspray. It's really hard to find a silicone free hairspray. The shampoo was decent. Not like amazing, you don't have to run out and get it, but if you wanna buy the matching pair, I do recommend the conditioner. It had really good slip, silicone free. I love the mask, I love the packaging, I love the smell, and I think it does a really great job, an easy on the go mask. If you are someone that likes leave-ins, you might like this one, it was moisturizing. The nozzle is not really my favorite type of applicator when applying a product, but overall, you know, it was cool. Blow dry cream, definitely don't need it. I hope you're not blow drying your hair because we've worked too hard to avoid that heat damage. So this just isn't a product that I personally need in my collection. I'm also not someone that really uses oils or serums, so I probably wouldn't use this one either. But these are the only Marc Anthony products that I have tried that I would recommend. A lot of the other Strictly Curl products or even their coconut something line, they all have either sulfate or silicone, but, but probably silicone. So if you're trying to avoid those ingredients like me, just make sure to always read the back of the labels. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. And make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. You also can follow me on Instagram if you guys want daily updates of what I'm going to review next in my Instagram story at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Thank you.